Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video on how to make anything in the real world into a 3D model with some exceptions. So the big thing to note here is there's two main ways that average people can turn something into a 3D model, or three ways. Uh, the, the obvious way is obviously measuring whatever, but aside from that, the first major way is pictures, the second is lasers. So the big thing to note when it comes to lasers is unless you're willing to spend a huge amount like in the five, ten thousand dollars you're not going to get anything worthwhile. To, there are some lasers out there for a hundred dollars and so and from what I'm able to see it's actually better to go with photography. So how does photography work? Well basically let's assume that this is the model that you're trying to deal with and the picture you're trying to take focuses on that spot so what happens is is you need to have three pictures seeing that given spot and how it works is you have one picture seeing that that spot another picture seeing that that and that spot and lastly another picture seeing that that spot so the software always knows that this is always between those two so it knows how to properly stitch it whenever it sees that so with that one in mind there's a few things that you have to keep in mind when you're doing this first is you can't have anything massively reflective second is transparent that's a no-go Lastly, anything with uh, solid colors can be difficult, especially when you get into grays or blacks. So that's a major thing to note. But with that one, it, oh, and also the object cannot be moving. You can actually put the thing on the turntable and and do like that. But the object itself, you know, the arm can't move or whatever it might be cannot move. So with that one in mind, I'll be using this program. The free version allows me to upload 50 pictures. If you can go beyond that, it's going to cost like $2,700. I'm not willing to pay for that, so we're still on the free version. So for this, we're going to go to New Project. And with that, we can actually select all the, the stuff uh, so it automatically does it. I advise you not to do that because you can actually spend a lot more time dealing with that and also you can run some more problems because you might have to do some reshoots and whatnot. So make sure that this is selected, the uh, check, and then let's upload our pictures. So you can do 50 pictures at max uh, for free, obviously 40, whatever, 30, whatever, that's fine. Now, as far as if you got a video, you can import video and make pictures from it because frame by frame. Problem with this is free, you're dealing with 50 images. And let's just say that your video is 25 frames per second. This means two seconds, you're already filled up the thing. So, realistically, for you and I, it's probably not going to be that way. If you got a paid version, use that. So, with that, we're going to next. Um, you can modify it if you want. I don't really care. Now, feel free to select your category that you want. I'm doing on a hand. And what you need to do is select whichever you want. So you want to select the least. It's at least one that um, basically it, it calls cameras. The, the pictures, it calls that cameras. You want to use one that, that um, uses the most amount of pictures. For me, I found it to be deep. Um, obviously, you go with whatever. So, following that, so let's go to next. Now, no, we can go to advanced and all the other stuff. I honestly found it's best to just use the prefix and go with that. Now, one thing I want to note before I start this is going to be the longest um, between them all, in my opinion, as far as all the little things, in my opinion. And my best thing to tell you is to open the log, open the system information. 
This allows you to see if something is happening or if it's froze. So you can take a look and easily see that. And I've seen it where it's processing stuff. It takes literally two minutes at a time, maybe a little bit more. But that, that way you can see when it last updated and whatever. Now at this point, you really shouldn't be doing anything on a computer because this uses as much processing you can give it, as much graphical you can get it, and all the other. And you, you, me doing this, by the way, it, it actually slows it down, so I'll be right back when it's done. So as far as this goes, if you see too many no's, then you might want to go and bump it up. I'm not really on really bump it up for this one. And um, if you see something like this, you can fix the orientation by clicking that and we can fix it like that and just press OK. Now, one big thing to note is you might notice all these little dots. Basically, all I care about is where the hand is. So what we need to do is select that, select that to bring it to the right orientation go and select that so center and bring that up and I might need to turn it a little bit more and then I can start closing that and what this is going to do is it says don't worry about all these other areas just worry about what's inside this box so just make sure that the box is at the right area and that way it knows to work in that So, with that in mind, again, you select that. So, uh, next thing's next is let's go and select that, say high detail, and run. And um, what that box does is it tells the software not to work outside the box, so it saves on compute power and all the other. So, it makes things a lot quicker. And that, that's one reason why you want to go one step at a time, if all possible. Plus, on top of that, if it didn't even look like a hand was in there, then it's probably safe to bet. It's safe to say that it's probably not going to come out well, so I need to do a reshoot. And let's see what happens. So, if you're seeing something like this, don't worry about the massive holes. The next one and the following should take care of all that. We need to make sure is that everything that you that the life like the hand itself is being calculated, not the table. So make sure whatever you're aiming for is being calculated. So you don't have to go back and redo something. And by the way, all these blue dots, these are where if thinks the images are that I took it so just keep that in mind when you're looking at yours but anyways let's uh, do the next one and you can do a high detail uh, recommend that smooth a few once if, if you're on I think it's close range you do smooth or sharp. I prefer smooth. That's just personal. But you can redo it if you want. Um, and by the way, to redo any of these, all you have to do is go back and, and there you go. You can redo it from there. So let's do high detail, run that, and I'll be right back. Alright, so let's take a look. It's a lot more holes than I originally thought. A lot lot more holes but that's fine 
Let's go ahead and um, fix that real quick. Go to Tools, go to Mesh Filters, and you can do Fill Hole by Select, or I'm just going to do um, Water Type. And let's just do Fix All. And just let it do its thing. And what this will do is try to close up all of those holes. Um, even the one on the bottom. And as you see there, it did a pretty good job, actually. Let's take a quick look. And you might be wondering about this mess or behind the thumb. That was actually a plaster. That was actually part of the original. So it did a pretty good job capturing that. But I seen there, I plugged up all the holes. So let's go for the final thing. And let's go ahead and tell it to do that. And there we go. All right, so let's see how this came out. And it's pretty good. So the big thing to note is um, we need to fix this up in another program. Make this a little bit more smooth. And fix all that. What you need to keep in mind is that there's actually a few ways to export it, um, but what you need to keep in mind when you're exporting your thing is you need to go with this OBG, and if you want to go with Blender to fix it up and whatever, and, uh, and that way you can do whatever with it. I keep in mind to make a 3D print from it, so you have to convert that to a STL file. But until then, you can fix it up and do whatever you want to it. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out, and hope you have a great day.